I have done lots of weird things to my pianos, but I've also modified them. I put hammers from the hardware store, waterproofed them filled with water, tuned an entire piano to E, and the list just goes on. I think it's safe to say that I have the craziest piano collection in the entire world. In this video, the piano technician is going to try and rate all the pianos, so let's close the lids and let him figure out what I've done to them. <laughs> oh no! This video is sponsored by Kiwico, but more on that later. So this piano is just a regular piano. What's, what's the issue? It's uh, Yeah, maybe you can try it and see if you can. Um, Does it sound in tune? Can you guess what I've done to it? it it's hard. No, I can't. I, I can't really say. It feels somewhat warm. But I know Gro Grotran is quite warm. Yeah. Okay. I, I haven't done anything. I actually bought a completely regular piano and just tuned it and okay. kept it as a piano. <laughs> So okay. It might be restored, or at least it's in very good condition. It looks so nice inside. I couldn't destroy this one. No, <laughs> I'm glad you didn't. It sounds good. It could use some yeah. reshaping, I think. I also tried to tune this piano, but okay. I don't think it turned out as good as that one. No. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's it's the one. Wait, have you seen this one? You called me about it. Oh no! Damn, I was going to prank you with this. <laughs> it's the one tuned to one, just one note. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the piano is kind of useless, actually. But I made one giant key. And this is the right. cool part. <laughs> It's in the wrong way for the thumbnail because that was inverted. If you press this one hard, you will get yeah. like the biggest E note. No, it, it gotta be on the end. Ah, okay. My design is not uh, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is amazing. We actually made a free virtual instrument. If anyone is watching this, you can download it for free. <laughs> they put a big E in every effect. <laughs> the original E is that one, yeah. Do you think I should get 11 more pianos and put them in a room so I have like a 12 key? Yes. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I feel that it's my, my professional duty to just say no. About this whole thing, I'm just so curious. This is so fun. <laughs> I, I remember when you, when you called me about it, you, you just asked what I thought, and I, I, I think that's probably one of the better ideas. <laughs> oh, really? I've almost thought about it myself, just, just wondering how it would sound, you know. Uh, press really hard. Yeah. You can push this quite a lot if you, like, yeah. really go. It's so like, oh. and, and this is kind of not a good piano. Like it's, no. it's a small piano. Imagine doing it on a, on a concert ground. Oh, like, on those <laughs> big ones. Yeah. yeah. I wanted to try like how, how soft can I play? But I don't know why they are. <laughs> Even they sound like a bell more right. than a. Like that. Yeah. 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 But it's, it's cool because that kind of showcases why scaling is important. Oh, okay. Like yeah. listen to the difference between. <laughs> that, those two, like, and, and you can, uh, you have like this scale of different timbral. You know what the, the longitudinal mode is? No. It's. You hear like it's a. That's a, a wave that's traveling like across the string. It's only going to go downhill from this, <laughs> I can say. Oh no. Okay, 
so you can probably see on the placement that I kind of don't like this piano myself. Okay. But let's see if you can guess what's going on. It resembles the, the hammer one. Yeah, but, but, but it's worse. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's more playable. What? It's it because is? It, yeah, because it's not it's lighter. That. Yeah. Can you hear some uh, like after sound or something? I I couldn't say what this is. Yeah. Okay. But it's something metallic. That's yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is. F that sounded good. You can you play piano actually like. I only heard river I... flows in you on all my pianos, so... <laughs> okay, I, I have no idea what you've done, okay. but I think this is quite... A kind of fun sound, to be honest. Yeah. Oh, okay, you can look, <laughs> okay. if you want. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> what is this? <laughs> the way this looks... It looks way worse than it... Yeah, sounds. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. so... so all of the tuning forks are tuned to the individual key. Right! But the problem is that the folks doesn't really make a sound. I just assumed the, the dampers didn't damp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A hundred Oh, yeah. Did... <laughs> oh, yeah. They got too long here, that's... Uh... These are large. Uh... The better idea would probably be to just make the hammers hit the forks instead. Right. But it's easy to be after a cloak. <laughs> Because I had to tune in with a Dremel. Did you do the beginner mistake and not wait until they cool down? Oh, yeah. So if you file down here, you can reverse it. You can make it, make it lower. That's, that's the best one. Oh. Yeah, but that, that's a kind of fun, fun effect. We can take a look at the hammer piano again, just to compare. <laughs> it's so loud. Damn. It's not as bad as I remember, <laughs> to, be no, no. Uh, to be honest. Yeah. The repetition is, is like, it takes an ice age for it to repeat. But <laughs> Try to repeat something. Yeah. <laughs> I remember it being heavier to play, it's not that. No, I mean, obviously heavy. But... Another part is like the delay from when you press and yeah, it actually right. hits. Right. I heard the, the virtual instrument thing. I watched some, some demo. One is watching this. The virtual instrument, it's not free. It's actually quite expensive. <laughs> but if you use the code engineer15, you will get 15% off. Okay. Okay, this is a concert hall now. Oh, this is nice. This you, you can play this on a on a real, on a real one, like this softly. This video is sponsored by Kiwico, and they make the most epic hands-on projects for kids. So the big idea is that while playing and having fun, kids learn about STEAM concepts such as science, technology, engineering, art and math. In this box, we get to make our own stereo headphones and it includes this little educational magazine with very kid-friendly instructions on how to make them. And what's really handy is that all the materials you need come right in the box so you don't have to run to the store and get the stuff. Like, look at the speaker drivers. 
Damn. Even the tools. In the box I build right now, we explore how speakers and other electroacoustic transducers turn electricity into sound. Let's see if they actually work. Now it works. Kiviko has eight subscription lines that are targeted at different age groups all the way down to newborns. So if you want to try it out, go to kiviko.com slash MLP slash Matthias and you will get 50% off your first month on any subscription or use code Matthias. I had some problems with this piano. I tried to fix them myself, but now it just sounds kind of muted. So maybe you can try and see if you can identify the problem. Hmm. It's very low in sound, right? Yeah. Sounds like there is belt on the strings. Oh, like something. I muted the strings. Yeah, it sounds like uh, on cembalo you have, or on harpsichord you have like a mute stop or like a like a lute stop. I think it's called yeah. where it's just like a felt pressed against the strings, and it sounds kind of like. I don't think this solution is as convenient. Do you think it sounds good or horrible? I, I mean, you, you can play it. I mean. Okay, oh, okay, so it's kind of... The tuning is not on point, really. <laughs> no. Is this why it's, it's slanted? Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised that it's, that it's so much in tune as it is. I've never seen those. <laughs> But this is only the underwater mics. But I heard people putting like water buckets inside the pianos to keep it humid. Yeah. Yeah, here, here in Sweden that's really common because our Winters are dry, like infinitely dry. <laughs> you don't think I would have that problem? So you would say that this is like the worst piano you have ever, ever seen in your entire life? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't need to torture anymore. Maybe we should listen to pianos. You. Pianos that you find in garages are usually quite bad. <laughs> but this is, yeah, this is another level. It's not leaking though. No, that not yet. That's that's quite impressive, honest. <laughs> you did you did restringing yourself? Yeah. I, I, I want to try to tune it. Oh yeah, I have. Did a, you have it tuned? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just wonder how it will feel. Oh. <laughs> I I'm just curious. Oh goodness. Do you wait? Do you want to? No, you can no, use mine. No, no. no. You can use mine. Oh. It kind, of, it kind of feels the same. That's the, uh, that's kind of surprising. Oh, you mean like the feel of tuning the string when it's underwater? Yeah. There, it's in tune. <laughs> like if if you have a balance board between like how much work you put in you put into <laughs> it and how much you get out of it, this is like way. Yeah. <laughs> like you know those charts, S tier. Right. <laughs> then it's A, B, C, D, E, F. Where would you put the water piano? At, at the bottom of the ocean. It's morbid fun, I guess, but it, it's not really usable. In, in the hammer sense. piano. I would put that just beneath the pitchfork piano because the pitchfork beneath. Piano, yeah, because they are quite similar yeah, in in character, but the pitchfork one is so much more easily played. Oh. So it's 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 a huge. It's much more user friendly, I guess. Uh, yeah. The hammer piano has no dynamics. However, I would put like the, the plug-in version of the hammer piano above them both. Oh yeah, Here, uh, the fishing line piano. Oh. <laughs> so what, what would you think it is? Like from the sound? I'd say, I, I would guess either it's nylon guitar strings this time or yeah. like fishing line. Is it fishing now? Is it? Yeah, it's fishing. <laughs> <laughs>
because many comments said it sounds kind of fishy. <laughs> They're just kind of cool. You didn't like that one, I remember, because I also put fishing yeah. line on the August 1st there, which yeah. was where <laughs> you had your apprenticeship. apprenticeship. Yeah. yeah. Um, but since then, I have stayed. I've only done things to IKEA pianos lately. Yeah, that's, that's better. And I'm glad you you didn't do anything with the gold time. Yeah, yeah. That's that's on the that's top one because it's it's yeah, just it's, like it's just good, good yeah. graft, craftsmanship and in good uh, it's it's aged well. Okay, so the best one is S cheer. That's the regular piano. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So A cheer. Uh, that's the E piano then. It got to be below, under, right? Yeah, below that. Yeah. The fishing line is. I think that's more usable than than a yeah, water. Yeah, so room. it's uh, E. Yeah. Uh, the bass string piano. You haven't played that a lot. Ah, uh, oh, it sounds so bad in comparison to the other one. It's not in tune. So yeah. this one is like I have all the strings for this one because Ernie Ball send out like some extra long. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it has some special. Yeah. Like a bell light something. Yeah, it's like a Celeste almost thing. That, that, that's the yeah. fish line, I think. Oh, yeah, Maybe. I didn't like that one either. Okay, is that all I have accomplished? <laughs> no, the guitar string. Oh, the guitar string. Yeah, yeah but that's, I just threw them on. But how yeah. do you like that one? Yeah, it, it, was, it was fun. I, it surprised me how uh, how good the string sounded, even though they had a knot in the middle. Like <laughs> that that too. that really that really surprised me. Like these notes, like many other notes, sounds pretty good. But I have some, I don't know. It, it's like a buzzing sound, like I said in the call on this one. <laughs> You're the guy with the guitar strings, right? <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, but that's it. Go. <laughs> it's so like... Oh. This video made me realize, have I not achieved more than this in all this time? So please let me know if you have any good video ideas. Also, join the Discord. Uh, thanks for 1 million subscribers. Very cool. Very cool.